Scheduling boundaries. You can also set boundaries by yourself by creating and sticking to a daily schedule. Daily schedules are a great way to keep you happy and healthy so that your day feels predictable and stress-free. Although it may be easy to ignore your schedule on days that you are feeling lazy or busy, treat your schedule as a boundary so that you stick to it consistently. Two of the most important scheduling boundaries are your wake time and sleep time. Sleep is one of the most important factors for feeling good and staying healthy long term. One way to commit to your sleep is to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Treat these bedtimes and wake times as boundaries that you should not break frequently. Recap It is important to set boundaries with yourself so that way you are accountable for your wellness and happiness. Setting financial, health, social media and scheduling boundaries are some of the best ways to gain control of your life and become as happy and healthy as possible. Resistance to boundaries Whenever you set boundaries, you can expect to experience resistance at some point, whether it be from another person or yourself. It is important to know how to handle these instances of resistance so that you can confidently respect your boundaries without being rude or disrespectful to the other party. Be prepared. The first step to dealing with people who resist your boundaries is to be prepared. It is important to know common tactics that people do in order to resist boundaries. This will allow you to recognize when a person is being disrespectful to your boundaries and needs. Here are the most common forms of boundary resistance. 1. The controller. One way that people might resist your boundary is by trying to control you or the situation. This type of person is called the controller. The controller might resist your boundary by physically challenging you, changing other people's opinion of you, or anything else that results in controlling you or the situation. On occasion, the controller may become angry and resort to yelling or fighting. This is a very extreme reaction that can be dangerous to your physical health and safety. If you find yourself in this situation, remove yourself immediately. It is not worth risking your safety for this person. 2. The Intimidator Another way that people resist boundaries is by intimidating you. These people are called intimidators. The goal of the intimidator is to intimidate you until you feel as though you are the one being unreasonable and change your boundary. This person may gaslight you, argue with you, or do something else to make you feel as though your boundaries are not worth being respected. 3. The Guilt Trip People also resist boundaries by attempting to guilt trip the person setting the boundaries. The goal of the guilt trip is to convince you that you are being selfish for setting a boundary. The guilt trip is probably the most frequent boundary resistant tactic. Keep in mind, when you meet these sorts of people, it is important to keep a couple of things in mind so that you stick to your boundary and do not let them bully you for the respect you deserve. Here are some things to keep in mind when you experience resistance to your boundaries. 1. The angry person is the one with the problem, not you. You are not responsible for their anger, and you should not let their anger cause you to become angry or upset. 2. You do not need to feel guilty for putting your needs and wants on par with someone else. You are just as important as the other person. So, your boundaries deserve respect, and you should not feel guilty for setting boundaries. 3. Guilt is just anger and insecurity in disguise. If someone is trying to guilt you, they are probably just angry and manipulative. On the other hand, if you feel guilty for setting boundaries, you are probably insecure and need to deal with that accordingly.